How to Build a Mini Micro Hydroelectric Generator, presented by Greg Stevens and Ryan Dedham. Part 1 Building the Stators. Cut the uh, two 12 by 13 rectangle pieces and place them on top of one each other. Spring clamp them together. Find dead center of the of the uh, two boards. Take a small 5 16 inch drill bit and drill through both pieces of uh, wood. Next, get a quarter inch drill bit and drill four holes in the by the corners of the plywood all the way through. Next, unclamp the boards. Get your one and one eighth inch spade bit. Place tape around the spade bit about five sixteenths up from the drill bit. This will act as a stop guide to let you know how far to drill down. Now in the center, place a, place a spade bit and drill down about 5 sixteenths. Do that with both pieces. Next, get your 1 half inch spade bit and drill through the middle of the 1 and 1 eighth inch opening. Step 2. Wrapping the coils. Wrap magnet wire into a coil with about 200 turns and approximately 1 inch in diameter. Tape coils on both sides using color electrical tape. Make sure when you're wrapping the coils, each set has a different color. Next, have your 12 inch diameter circled cut, which will be covered in the next step. When placing the coils down, you want to alternate colors and also alternate the way they are wound. So you have one set, one set of coils round, wound clockwise. The next one will be wound counterclockwise, all the way around the 12 inch diameter stator. Next, after the circle is cut, you're going to take 12 large washers and place them evenly around the edge of the circle you cut out. Using a hot glue gun or some other glue, to attach the washers to the circle. After you have the washers securely glued to the circle, you need to place the magnets. And it can be helpful to use a compass to figure out which directions north and south. And you're going to place the magnets alternating between north and south all the way around the circle. A total of 12 volts. Now on to step four, pre-assembly. Before we can start assembling, we need a couple other things. In the parts list, there's a half inch steel rod. We need to cut that down to about eight inches or desired length. Best way to do this is by using a hacksaw. Next, we need to cut the spacers. If you have a half inch, three quarter inch scrap piece of PVC plastic pipe, that's good. Laying around, cut that into one inch chunks. Next, we need to take the steel shaft, put it through the center of the rotor, and on the rotor, in place the locking collar and securely attach it to the center of the rotor so the rotor does not move freely from the shaft so it spins acts as one piece and sometimes it can be helpful to use a little epoxy putty or epoxy resin 
to sec secure the washer and the locking collar to the shaft. You want this secure. You do not want this to move at all. After you have that done, we'll be moving on to final assembly. Step five. Now that you have, now we have all of our pieces cut, it's time for the final assembly. First part we should, we should try is to take the two stator boards, the two rectangle pieces, and place the bearings into the large openings that you cut using a little bit of hot glue to secure them. Next, you're going to attach the four bolts and nuts to one side of the board. and place one of the nuts about three inches up the board on all four bolts. Next you're going to take the spacer and place it on top of one of the bearings. Slide the shaft and rotor on top through the opening. Next place the other board on top of it lining up the four holes with the shaft and attaching the four bolts to securely attach them. Tilt up on its side and see how close the magnets, in, magnets are to the rotor. There should be approximately about a half an, less than a half an inch, ideally about a quarter to an eighth of an inch. You do not want the magnets touching the rotor at all. Once, the, one, once you observe that the wheel spins evenly and smoothly, it's time for the final assembly of the fan. Now for this project, we scavenged a fan, a large box fan, and uh, attached it to one end of the, of, the, of the shaft, ideally the longer end of the shaft. And to do this can be a little bit tricky. What we did in this case was we took a 2x2, a two two, drilled out the center, and attach a couple screws through the fan into the board and use some hot glue and insert it onto the end of the shaft. This is sufficient for, for most projects. After that, hook up, test, and enjoy. Okay. Done? Yeah.